Hello there gamers, I'm the 8 Bit Ninja. Today we are back again with another episode of Pid. It's in the last episode, we left off right up there. And today we're going to continue on and go and beat the final boss in this last string of recording. So this, uh, today I will be doing my last commentary on Pid, except I will probably be doing a, ver a review of it. Because frankly, I think this... Oh, snap! Oh, oh, this is horrible! Oh, that was bad. <laughs> okay. But, uh, frankly I think this game deserves a good review, because it's got quite a few bad ones. And having beaten the game, I feel good about being able to review it now, because, frankly, it has been pretty awesome. Although, maybe not the best, it has had its problems, but it's still an awesome game. But for those of you who want to check that out, you can find it in the PID uh, show, which, uh, if you click the thumbnail to the bottom right of the video, it will take you to a directory of all the shows. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and get past this part real fast by throwing one down there. That shouldn't mess up that thing. Now these things seem to be somewhat attracted to us. Uh, they're kind of weird though. They don't react exactly like they are attracted to us. Just kind of attracted to us. It's weird. But anyways, we're going to continue on now. Alright, so there is a way to go back down there and come back up this way if you feel like doing that. Frankly, there is no need to though. And yeah, so we're just going to continue on this way. And yikes, we're going to get zapped. Alright, so we just got killed, but this part is pretty easy, we're just going to throw some beams in there, just to suck those things up. Uh, as you can see, we just got one smushed in the door. Now, frankly, these things, they react pretty weird, they seem somewhat attracted to us, but not uh, completely dedicated to attacking us, which is very strange for enemies, but oh well, it's not too big a deal. And they're frankly really easy to get past, so we're going to go ahead and rush past them. Now once we get to this part over here, this is in fact a checkpoint right here. Now this part, uh, you might struggle with it quite a bit, I did as well. Now if we go ahead and jump up here, we can get all these bonuses we would possibly need. And then we'll throw one down there. Now hopefully we'll be able to hit the wall. Eh, right. Yikes. Okay. And there we go. Okay, so if we throw another one on the wall there, uh, we're then going to go across. And hopefully this, we won't die here, because frankly I have died here quite a few times. And yikes, okay, well we took some damage from our on our armor there, but we made it down. Now that's how you do that. If you don't have armor, it can be a bit more difficult, and clearly we are doing horrible right now, but okay, we're still alive, so we're continuing on now. Now, uh, just my thoughts on the last boss. I absolutely love the last boss. Now it kind of goes back for me to playing Crash Bandicoot, and it, it you guys probably won't understand, those of you who have even played Crash Bandicoot probably won't understand, but it really reminds me a lot of the alligator boss, which he had circling things going around him, oh snap, okay, well let's not do that, but he had circling things going around him, and it acted a lot like this final boss, he would destroy the things, and just slowly deplete his shields, and then attack him. And yeah, it reminded me a lot of that, and clearly that didn't work right there, but we're going to try that again here. Alright, so I suggest just rushing through this part, because there's not really an easy way through it, but rushing through seems to work pretty well. Alright, here we go. Yikes! Oh, snap. Okay, we made it through. And dodging that last rocket. Now I'm going to leave you guys here. Uh, actually, no, let's just try and do this part. Now if you have a blast beam, that is suggested. We're also going to want to get those bombs up there, so we'll go ahead and get this and go like that. That doesn't work. Okay, oh well. So we're going to use our last blast beam, and we should have... Yes, we have all six bombs. You are going to want to have some bombs. If you have multiple blast beams, you can go ahead and blast yourself up there and get that. But we're going to use our blast beam right here. Bam. Get all the way across. Alright, and we are back. Now, I did die quite a few times trying to get that souvenir. Luckily, you didn't have to see any of it, though. For those of you who are looking for help with that souvenir, be sure to check out episode 22.5. Now, we're going to wait for these platforms to go back across. That way, we can have an easier chance of getting across. Alright, so how we get across is... Uh, we'll just wait for this, and I'll show you. Go ahead and come up like this, and jump and throw a beam down. And that's how you get across the entire thing. Now, it is a bit challenging to do this, especially with these platforms going around you and above you and all over the place. So, uh, I just wish you best of luck with that. Okay, yikes. Alright, so we almost died there. Hopefully we'll be able to make it, though. Alright, I think we will. And there we go, we are across. Now, I don't remember what's next. I believe next is actually the boss, so that's where we're going to end this episode. Uh, I think it's the boss, at least. But if it's not, then you guys will know. But we're going to go ahead and head down here. And, yeah, definitely be sure to check out the next episode, though. Because then... In that episode, and then, I don't know what I'm saying. But be sure to rate, comment, subscribe, and share, and I think this is the end of the episode. Yes, it is. Okay, so be sure to rate, comment, subscribe, and share, and in the next episode, we will defeat this boss, and, and we will end the game, and it's going to be amazing, because it has a very great ending. Peace out, the 8-Bit Ninja.